Hello everyone, this is Owen, and this is the first video of my Java tutorial series. And today I'm going to be talking about IDEs, and I'm going to show you how to install them and which one we are going to use. And so IDE is it stands for Integrated Development Environment, and what it is is it's your software application that allows you to develop, you know, your applications, programs, and whatever it is that you're making. And basically, it encompasses a source code editor, um, your compiler, and a lot of them have built-in debugging systems too. So uh, a couple that I have already on my computer that I've tried out are uh, JCreator, Dr. Java, and BlueJ, and also Eclipse. Um, I'd I'd probably recommend JCreator and Eclipse once you actually get into programming but and especially Eclipse is a very uh, widely used one and it's got a lot of automated options so you can really speed along your developing process um, but for the sake of these tutorials we are going to be using BlueJ and I'll tell you why uh, I'll explain why we're going to be doing that after I show you how to install it so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your browser and go to bluej.org and oh. so once you get to bluej and once you get to the website just go over to the right side and click quick download and um, ignore these for the a second and you're going to come over to this right side and make sure it says here under system requirements that you're going to need java 6 or 7 if you don't already have that go ahead and click this link and it'll take you down, take you to the download page. So um, I'm going to be using I'm on Java 7 for this at my current time while I'm filming this, um, and that's what we're going to be using. That's what I'm going to be using. You can also use Java 6 for mm, all the things that we're doing. So you can either click this button or you can come down to download, and you're going to want to download the JDK. So once you have that downloaded, you can come back over to BlueJ and just go ahead and, depending on your operating system, click the one, download it, whatever. So once you get this downloaded, which I already have, you have them both right here. And the first one that you're going to want to install is your JDK 7. Make sure that you have that first, unless, of course, you already have a previous version of Java already installed that is um, accepted by BlueJ, I guess. So I'm not going to install these. I already have these installed. Um, but it, as far as Java goes, it's very simple. Just open it up, click Next, um, install all the stuff. You, I don't think you have to install Java FX when that window pops up. Um, I believe that's just for internet applications. But uh, yeah, so if you want to, you can go ahead and do that. It's, it's not that much space to take up. but. Once you're done with that, go ahead and install BlueJ, which is also very simple. Just click next a couple times and you'll get right there. So once you're done, you go ahead and open up BlueJ. And you're just going to see this, this blank section right here. So uh, I'm just going to type something up real quick. You can ignore what I'm doing for now, but I'm going to show you... Uh, I'm just going to show you why we are using BlueJ as opposed to other things. And it's mainly just for the sake of this tutorial. So if you look down here, it has some automated things, and a lot of programs do that. But it also has this, um, this color coordination system, which is very nice. These green boxes um, around your, your whole class. and around your constructors you have yellow boxes and, and methods and everything which uh, I've noticed uh, if watching a YouTube video can get very confusing if you're watching somebody use a program that doesn't have something like this so I thought this would be the best one to use and it's also a very easy it's a very easy um, program to use so <coughs> so that's that's about it you can follow through if you want using other using other IDEs, but I'll, I will warn you now: if you use another IDE, there could be some slight differences 
Um, not much, but a lot of the stuff in Blue Jay is somewhat automated, so it might things might be left out that you'll need on other IDs. But um, if I notice any, I'll I'll try to address them for you other people out there. But that sums up this video. So thanks, and I'll see you in episode two.